Imagine a large organization. For example, the employees at a large company that are considering forming a union. Each person might belong to one or more constituencies. For example, a person might be a warehouse worker and a driver. And this leads to a key problem. Can we form a representative group consisting of one person from each constituency? This problem is actually easy to solve, but there's a problem of conflict of interest. For example, a person who represents the warehouse workers and drivers might favor the interest of the drivers over those of the warehouse workers. It would be best if each person represented only one group. This would give us a system of distinct representatives, SDR for short, where every group is represented by one person and no person represents more than one group. If only there was a mathematical tool we could use to solve this. Wait a minute. That's a graph theory problem. Remember, a graph represents relationships between objects. So if we want to produce a graph representing this situation, we note that every person is related to every group they are in. This suggests we want a graph with vertices x corresponding to the different constituencies, vertices y corresponding to the different employees, and edges joining employees to all constituencies they belong to. Since no vertex will join a constituency to another constituency, or an employee to another employee, this is a bipartite graph on x and y, and finding a system of distinct representatives corresponds to solving a matching problem. To make the matching, we'll use Cohn's algorithm for unweighted graphs. We'll match the lowest number unsaturated vertex to the lowest numbered vertex. If this is not an edge in our matching, include it. If this is an edge, go to the other end and lather, rinse, repeat until you produce a M augmented path, whereupon switch the edges to expand our matching, or you determine no M augmented path exists, so back up a step and choose the next vertex. Remember, this is a depth first search. And in all cases, lather, rinse, repeat. For example, suppose a group of eight people, which will number from one to eight, form five separate constituencies. We want to find a committee consisting of one person from each constituency so that no person represents more than one constituency. So we'll form a bipartite graph with vertices corresponding to the groups, A through E, and to the people, 1 through 8. And then we'll draw an edge between a person and a constituency if the person is in the constituency. So group A has members 1, 2, 3, 5, and 8, so we join A to these vertices. Group B has members 2, 4, and 6, so we join B to those vertices. And likewise for the other groups, which produces our graph. So we'll take our lowest numbered vertex, A, and we'll join it to its lowest numbered neighbor, that's 1, so A1 is our first edge. Next, B has lowest numbered neighbor 2, so B2 is our second edge. C has lowest numbered neighbor 2, which begins an edge in our matching. So we'll follow that edge to B, and then from B, the lowest numbered edge not yet included is 4. So we find C2. 2B, B4 is a M augmented path, so we switch out B2 for C2 and B4. Our next vertex is D, and to the lowest numbered neighbor, D3, is not yet included in our matching, and so we include it. From E, we go to the lowest numbered neighbor, 1, which follows a matching edge 1a, then to the lowest numbered neighbor 2, to the next matching edge 2c, 
Then from C to the lowest numbered vertex not included, which is going to be 5. So E1, 1A, A2, 2C, C5 is a M augmented path, and we switch the edges in our matching. Since we can find at most five edges in a matching, because that's the number of groups that we have, this gives us our maximal matching, and this in turn gives us our representatives. For group A, person 2. For group B, person 4. For group C, person 5. For group D, person 3. And for group E, person 1.